Welcome everybody to Cloud Innovators Live. We're here at DTW in Copenhagen. And we have with us Jen Haas Hewitt. Jen, could you introduce yourself? Yeah, pleasure, Brian. Uh, great to see you again. Jen Haas Hewitt, I'm Head of Strategic Programs and Partner-Led Solutions within the Telecom Industry Team at Google Cloud. So Jen, one of our strategic programs is really with TM Forum. Exactly. Could you tell us a little bit more about what we're doing there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been a fantastic year for our partnership with TM Forum. So we've gone from being the new kids on the block when we arrived last year to really um, to really expanding that partnership, deepening it. So uh, you see when we we're at the event this year, we've got a couple of catalysts over there. So really exciting stuff we're doing with generative AI in partnership with our Pe with our partners, Pega Systems and Accenture, where we're like rethinking the whole way we can use network signals and show up with offers that are relevant and contextualized to consumers to help you know support revenue growth for our CSP customers. So that's one example of one of the catalysts we're sharing. It's, it's pretty huge when you take a look at the CSP sponsors and the partners working together. That's mm -hmm. a pretty uh, large effort. Yeah. What are some of the results? Are we seeing some positive engagements? How does that look? Yeah, it's been, as you say, really, really fun. Uh, we've had five different CSP partners come together, giving us those critical inputs as we create a, you know, a proof of concept, proof of value. And um, this is all stuff that's commercially available. Pega Cloud on GCP is a GA solution now. So it's also really fun because we're able to show the art of the possible, but also customers can then you know, acquire that through our marketplace. But yeah, we've had input from BT, from Telecom Italia and so forth. So really rich input from our CSP partners as we've created these things. Um, and Bell Canada as well, incredible um, contribution from them. So yeah, it's been a great few months building that and it's now really nice to share it at the show. It's beautiful to have this showcase at DTW, and that's not the only thing we're doing too, as you just mentioned, I think. So tell us more about this Moonshot Catalyst. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we always want to try you know, bigger, better, higher goals. So the Moonshot Catalyst, trying to save 25% of the energy of a telco by 2025. 25 so, by 2025. Yeah, exactly. That sounds like a moonshot, it but I love, I love shooting high. So <laughs> exactly. what are we shown here? What are we, where are we at? So this was a partnership with, uh, again, multiple uh, multiple CSP operators. Uh, Telenor was a champion, uh, Verizon and others. It was a fantastic uh, collaboration. We had China Mobile as well, so a real a contribution from, from lots of different CSPs. And then we also had fantastic partnership working with our network equipment providers. So Ericsson were incredibly involved as well. And so this was looking at the layer cake of how do you drive that big saving you have to do things at all these different layers of, of energy efficiency. So both on the hardware side, with the radio and with the antenna and the hardware replacement, but also, of course, AI ML. So what can you do with AI ML to better anticipate when demand is going to be on the cells in the network and therefore allocate your power resources much more granular basis, right place, right time, so you get just enough energy in the cell to give that great customer experience without wasting energy. That's tremendous. It's a lot of technology that go, get, comes into play here and a huge ecosystem, as you stated. It's from chip level mm -hmm. all the way up to the AI side. It's really exciting. Are there any things that we're seeing from an AI perspective that stood out to you? Yeah, I think what's been fascinating in the AI space is yet another topic that we've been, we've been working on with the TM Forum is, is generative AI. So this was how do we take some of those really exciting new products that we have, both in Vertex AI Search and Vertex AI Conversation, and how do we look at an organization like TM Forum who has an incredible depth of knowledge and, and assets, and how do we make that more serviceable, more usable in the day-to-day -day work of TM Forum members? So one of the things that we were also doing over the past few months was creating a, a proof of concept as part of the TM Forum Innovation Hub pre-pilot program. That's tremendous, and I think we announced yeah, we did. TM <laughs> F, in this case, yep. TMF Guru. Yes, So exactly. that was a great partnership and amazing what you can do across the board. Yeah. So two catalysts. Yep. A guru. <laughs> Is there anything else? This partnership seems to be flourishing. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then the, obviously there's the work that we've done also over the past few months on the ODA canvas. So TM Forum is synonymous with the open digital architecture, open API movement. Google, as you know, huge contributors to the open source community, committed to open standards. So one of the things we've also done is, is take the ODA canvas and run that in GCP. So we have that now available to TM Forum members as well. Jen, uh, that's a huge step within a year. 
where can we take it? Well, as you mentioned, the TM Forum Innovation Hub was announced by, by Nick uh, at the opening of the show. So this is what's next for TMF, how can it work in, uh, in deeper work streams with its members um, to really not just take like Catalyst being a, a POC, but how can we look at some of those really big thorny challenges that the industry faces and create more industrialized solutions, working with more committed resources over a number of months. So yeah, we're really excited. We think generative AI is gonna be one of those meaty topics we can work on in, in, this, in this collaborative new forum that's been announced, this new hub that's been announced. And then we're also really excited by what we can do next with the Canvas, bringing on more partners, et cetera. So yeah, lots to do as always. Well, I tell you what, I can see it in your eyes and your smile. You're getting me excited. So I can't wait to see what we do next year and throughout this year with TM Forum and Google Cloud. And that's it for now with Cloud Innovators live in telecommunications at DTW.